after Apollo 11. So it was a great media attention, great public attention. They had a world tour. It was very hard work. Place after place after place. Very intense. Probably more challenging than flying a mission. Given the kind of person that he was, he did not enjoy the celebrity. Not that you can say, I'm sorry I went to the moon, but it problematized his life in ways that were especially disdainful to him. He told me he would like to go ahead and fly more, but he knew that he, he couldn't. Because of who he was, they wouldn't take a chance of something happening to him. So NASA moved him over into a position as an associate administrator for aeronautics. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. But instead of letting him run the aeronautical programs like they should have, they kept calling him to show up for photographs and autographs and they wouldn't leave him alone. And now to give us a hand, the man whose skill and courage won the admiration of the world, the best salesman America ever had, Neil Armstrong. I'll never forget that first step on the moon. And speaking of steps, the first one you should take in planning your family's future is to save. I recommend United States Savings Funds. Eventually, he said, heck with that, and he just decided, I'm moving back to Ohio. And he got a teaching job at the University of Cincinnati teaching aerospace engineering. I was searching for a way to conduct a normal life, but not always with great success. He always said, I'm just a pilot. I don't deserve all these accolades. I remember someone offered him a million dollars if he would autograph 100 pictures, and he turned it down. That's the kind of person that he was. He felt guilty that he got all the acclaim, and he didn't know how to handle it. He let that guilt just drive him inside himself.